My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, my name is Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today I'm excited because we are making restaurant quality tandoori chicken at home. Yes, at home. I have some great tips so stay tuned and we're pairing it with this beautiful Pinot Noir, Han. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later but let's get started on the marinade because it's all about the marinade. Uh, for this tandoori chicken. I have some Greek yogurt right here in the bowl and all the re all the measurements are right down below in the description center. To that we are going to add paste of garlic and ginger paste is going right on in. Gives a boatloads of flavor and it's all about the spices. So let me name them all and once again they're all down below. Chili powder. We have coriander cumin we have turmeric right here this is the garam masala which is an indian spice blend and we have a tandoori spice right here and if you can't find a tandoori spice don't worry about it it's mostly what we already have going on in here just add a little bit of maybe some paprika and some cayenne and some cinnamon uh because everything else we already have in here and we are going to add the making the bright color. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But let's get some of these spice blends in. And these spice blends are not spicy hot when I mean spice blend. This is just going to give it a ton of, ton of flavor. So all the spices are in. We want to get some salt in there too because this is going to marinate. This is going to sit in on the chicken, please try to do it overnight. If you can't do it overnight, I understand about that. Let's get some fresh lemon juice going on in there for the acidity. And it's a great tenderizer for the chicken too. So it will tenderize the chicken while it sits in there overnight. Look at the spice blend going on in here. But that doesn't look like a normal tandoori color, right? because most of the tandoori colors have that bright, bright red, which is a food coloring that they add. So I always say that's optional if you wanna do it. I don't like to add chemicals to my food, but I have a plant-based, here I'll show you what I did, a plant-based food coloring. Um, this is just a beet, beet juice going in, and it's gonna brighten it up and give it that coloring uh that reddish color that you want that sits on there now see look at that turn that color already now you can skip this step like i said this is an optional step but i just love that bright bright color that the chicken looks and we're trying to get it as close as possible to the restaurant quality as looks so that is that simple and our marinade is ready let's get our chicken now we have chicken legs that we're using the drumstick and the thigh both combined together here and uh that's what is mostly used in the chicken tandoori you can use a chicken breast if you want might dry out a little more in the oven i do like the darker meat with this and what you want to do with this is you want to come down and cut some good slits down in through the actual combination of the meat and something like this. So you're gonna actually, the marinate will get down in there. And just the one extra step that I do is that you wanna rub uh, on both sides here. A little extra of the chili powder going right on in and get that in there. And then what you wanna do is get that 
and put it in the marinade. Now I have some marinating already. This is enough marinade for three legs, uh, whole legs. And you want to get it in there and just massage it into the slits that you cut. Okay. So you want to get it down in there and that you want to let marinate for a minimum of three hours. I would love it if you would do it overnight. It'll just infuse the marinade much, much better and tenderize the meat actually much better also. So uh, let's get the other ones out and get them in the oven. Okay, this is how we're cooking the chicken at home. I have the chicken's been marinated overnight here and I have it, I'm placing them on a wire rack for air to circulate from both sides, even though we are gonna flip it over, we are gonna be basting it. And I like to just put foil on the bottom because we're, we're gonna keep all the, uh, the pan, the, the actual marinade on the chicken. What's left over in the pot right there, we're gonna add a little bit of oil to that and that's what we're gonna be basting them with in the oven. So the oven is at 425, let's get that into the oven. Okay, we're gonna put them right in at 425. And depending on the thickness of the actual chickness, chicken legs, uh, about 15 to 20 minutes on the first side, flip it over another 15 minutes, and I'll show you what I'll do to be marinating them. Now our chicken's in the oven baking. What we want to do is we just want to add a little bit of oil, oil of your choice. I'm using some olive oil here. You don't need to use olive oil. Um, just going to add about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And what we're going to do is loosen this up and we're going to baste this one time, just one time. That is right when we're ready to flip. We're going to baste the top and the bottom both flip them over and let that cook for another 15 minutes so that we'll definitely be able to destroy any of the bacteria that's in this marinade but this will be perfect for basting one more time I wish you could smell all the spices in here. It smells amazing, but let's get it out of the oven. It is ready. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look at that beautiful tandoori color. Oh, oh me, oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna let that rest for a second before I dig into it. I wanted to tell you quickly about this Han Pinot Noir. It is delicious you will love it goes perfect with the tandoori chicken let me take a sip mm. it has taste and notes of black cherry and a lot of black fruit with a little bit of notes of allspice and some plum some dark plum that's why it goes perfect with this this Han Pinot Noir is an awesome Pinot. It's a Northern Californian Pinot. Uh, south of Napa though, a north of Cambria in there, it is a lovely, beautiful area, the Santa Lucia Highlands. So if you've never visited that area, it is beautiful. I would try. Um, I'm ready to plate this up and dig in. So before I dig into this tandoori chicken, I would like to first thank all my subscribers and if you're not yet a subscriber hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes and don't forget to like and share my recipes and ring that bell because I have a new recipe and show every Tuesday but I can't wait any longer I just can't I gotta try this this looks so amazing I just left it on its rack okay let's go Oh, look how tender that is. That fell right off. 
Mm. Wow. I just feel like I'm at an Indian restaurant ordering my favorite tandoori chicken. That is amazing. And you can do it at home, even without a tandoori oven. So thank you so much for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff, and we'll see you next week.